Okay, let's cut to the chase. I'm gonna show you the brawler that everybody's gonna thirst over for the next two years of this game. It's inevitable. Everyone's gonna just like that. It's it's gonna happen. Let's max her out. Let's see how broken she is. She seems very unique. And I didn't sneak peek Angelo, even though he's probably gonna be my favorite brawler in the update. And hey, look, I made the realization that this layout is actually pretty good. So uh, yeah, you got you got my face here, the gameplay over there. I mean, it's kind of nice. You can see the whole screen. I like it. The thing I don't like normally is the fact that my camera would only be like right here and it's tiny. I hate that. But now we got Melody. I'm gonna shut up. Let's max her out just like this. Bum, bum, bum. Boom, 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 boom. Max uh, level, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's take a quick look at her stats. 8,200 health, normal movement speed. The damage is absolutely catastrophically bad. Her range is normal. And her super is the first ever super to have three uses, which is very cool. I like it a lot. And before I show you her star powers and gadgets, just let me show you how she works so then you can understand them better. So her main attack is absolute dog water it is probably the worst main attack in the entire game but her super is just three dashes that's all it is and every single time you hit somebody with your main attack you get these musical notes that surround you and i thought that they would go away once i hit somebody but they don't they only go away when you stop shooting people so basically you're gonna have them up for the entire game or any time that you're gonna need them, they should be up. Now, the problem is actually positioning them, and that's where her dash comes into play, because normally positioning yourself near people with these music notes would not be super easy. But because of the dashes, if you're good at the game, you can position yourself really well to where you're hitting the enemies perfectly, kind of like this. I think it's gonna be so fun, and uh, she's gonna be like one of the most popular brawlers in the game. Not only because of people thirsting over her, but her mechanics are very fun. So now that you know how her stuff works, let's look at the gadgets. The first one is called Perfect Pitch, which makes her music notes become faster, and then they also expand. So if somebody's farther away from you, then you can catch them with the music notes. So let's pick that up. And her first star power is called Fast Beats. Melody gains 8% increased movement speed with each note orbiting her. This one is good, but all of her stuff is actually well-rounded, so let's look at these first. See, there's one thing that I didn't really like about some recent brawlers that came to the game, like Kit. And that one thing is the fact that his kit doesn't really make any sense. Like, he has gadgets and star powers that don't really fit him as a character but when it comes to melody and angelo their kits actually work and they make sense so it's like perfect he's like watch this i press the gadget boom they all go wide and they all go fast that's cool that's gonna be useful in one way or another especially if you're good at the character because let's say you're going in you can just like dash around like that's a wide area being covered and if you know how to position properly you're gonna pop off like that's gonna be cool and now let's take a look at the movement speed so this is normal movement speed but with the star power i'm slightly fast faster i'm even faster and i'm the fastest i think this one's gonna be the popular choice for the star power but let's go look at the other one melody's second gadget is called interlude melody gains 15 percent shield from each note orbiting her this may not be what you think it is but I love this gadget. This one is all right, but I feel like the speed one's gonna be better. This one is called Extended Mix, and it just makes her music notes last longer. But if you're good at the game, you're gonna be shooting, and you're gonna keep it at three anyways. So I like the speed one more. So we have the new star power on, meaning my notes should last a little bit longer. I don't know how helpful this is gonna be in the grand scheme of things, but uh, yeah, there you go. That's all it really does. Then we have the gadget, which this is by far my favorite gadget because I love when Brawl Stars reuses mechanics that are underappreciated. Based on how many music notes I have, I get a Gus shield, an Edgar shield. This is something I was hoping they would give to Kit with like his gadget or anything, but at least another brawler is getting something like this. This mechanic is entirely underappreciated. Lou's freeze is underappreciated. Stuff like floating over water is underappreciated. So I'm really happy that they're actually like giving brawlers these mechanics that only one or two other people have. But yeah, let's say you're just dashing around with your super and stuff. Well, you could just give yourself a 3k shield and it doesn't even take the music notes. You just get the shield. I think this is a fantastic gadget. It's like Edgar's, but it's not the same because you have a requirement to hit the button. This brawler has unique mechanics they're complex the gadget also is a little bit complex i just like the brawler a lot because she isn't brain dead easy you actually have to like use your brain time things right dash and position yourself correctly this brawler 
might just become my favorite to play. Gears wise, she just has literally all the normal stuff. So we can just go in and purchase all this. I don't really care about that. If you want my unprofessional opinion, I would probably give her like, I don't know, speed if it's a bushy map, maybe damage gear, uh, maybe shield if you really want it, if you want to dash in or gadget gear because she has a good gadget. Any of them are fine. Just don't use vision or healing. Oh baby, I'm excited for this mode. Trophy escape. If this mode doesn't stay in the game, I might just cry. So many solo modes that have so much potential were added to the game and then it, like removed to the next update. Oh, hey, oh wait, there's little robots you can kill? Dude, that's actually so cool. They put so much thought and time into this mode. I can tell. I really hope it stays. Like, it is so cool. If players don't play it at all and make it get removed, like, dude, I'm gonna be so upset. Like, look at this. I got some kills. I killed the little robot, which... I didn't know that was there at first, but I guess instead of brawl boxes, there's just robots that chase you down that you can steal trophies from. And uh, let's see. So I, oh, time to escape. Oh, so now that there's five players remaining, now we can escape. I don't know what this Colette bot is doing, but I'm just going to go in and now I should be able to escape. Edgar, no, I'm not letting you escape, buddy. Let me out. Wait, what? Oh, there's a timer on it. Well, I killed him anyways, and I got all the remaining trophies. 17 trophies for one match. I'm in a friendly match, so it doesn't show it, but that would have been 17 at least without a win streak or anything. Man, I'm so excited for this mode to come out. The only potential problem I can see with it is the fact that people are gonna team because of how it works. Once you're top five, then you can escape. People are gonna team up and uh, escape one by one. And that probably means that people are gonna win trade like crazy. So that probably is gonna suck, but dude, I love the concept of this and I wanna try it again. I wanna kill one of these pesky little robots. This one has 10,000 health. It seems like there actually are power cubes on the map. So, oh my gosh, I'm so bad with this brawler. There we go. Kinda gotta like dash through them and then learn how to position really. Hey, the bots are actually killing bots. It's bot warfare over here. What are you doing, buddy? Time to escape. All right, all right. I'm going to try to escape early. So there's a thingy right here. If I just go to it, maybe kill the Carl in the process because it takes a while to activate. Then I can get all his trophies. We're top three right now. So I can escape the match before it ends. It takes a long time. So somebody could come up and try to kill you. And if you ever leave this zone, it seems like it resets. But that right there, that is just cool. It says escape instead of victory. Please don't let it get gutted. Oh man, this is just really cool. I was hoping they would come up with something actually like genuinely unique with solos and clearly they had inspiration for this. I'm doing another one. I don't care what you say, bro. I'm having fun with this. I do like that there is a method to get trophies without killing players. It may not be much, but it's honest work. Where are you? Blue? Oh, wow. Did they just trade? All right, well, here, I got some trophies. I'm gonna go in on the stew. He's dead. Get out of here, kid. Uninstall the game. Now I'm just gonna escape the match again. Also, you cannot use this gadget without any music notes. I just learned that. We escaped again. And unfortunately, I can't see how many trophies I would have gotten. And just because I didn't make an Angelo video, I'm gonna unlock him right here and max him up for you guys, just in case any of you wanted to see me do that for whatever reason. And uh, let's go through his stuff as well. All right, Angelo, potentially the ugliest new brawler in Brawl Stars. People were very upset about how he looks, but like, dude, he's a mosquito from the swamp. Like, what do you want him to be? A beautiful person. Nah, dude, he's gonna be ugly. Between his two gadgets, uh, this one lets you jump in the air. I don't know exactly why it says fly for one second. I assumed that you were actually going to, like, hover in the air, but you don't. You just do a normal looking jump. This gadget is interesting because it's just like Mandy's. You hit through the wall. You also pierce targets. I like it because it fits a brawler like him. It's actually kind of perfect. Although I'm going to say it, everybody's going to use this one unless there's like no assassin in power league or something because this is his only form of escape. Star powers wise, he has the heal and then he has the speed. Any map that is water, you automatically want to take speed. This thing makes you so fast and it actually kind of works with this character super well because you're floating over the water and He's going super fast, like zipping around like a mosquito. But yeah, any map that has water, do this one. Any map that doesn't, put the heal on. It's also very good. You heal like 4,000 health in total. This brawler is very hard to play. Not many people are going to be able to learn him very well at the start. So he's going to start out as hot garbage. I hope they don't buff him or even nerf him before they release him because he seems mixed. Like he can be strong if you hit every single shot, especially with your super. You will do 8,000 damage. It's ridiculous. But he's like Hank in the sense where it takes forever to shoot your shots 
if you miss your sitting duck also you can't heal while charging your shot so that alone makes him mediocre but the fact that he does that much damage is good so i think he's in a good spot right now we should just try him out and they should change him accordingly i'm worried that he's gonna be a brawler that will never be balanced like hank because of his charge mechanic his charge mechanic specifically is what i like about him because it makes sense because he has bow and arrow i like it a lot anyway that's gonna do it let me know what you think about melody i think she looks awesome also i think angelo looks awesome i'm excited for this update both of these brawlers seem to have full kits which is exactly what i'm looking for hopefully some recent brawlers that were released with kind of mediocre kits get changed a little bit because these brawlers feel complete while brawlers like kit and hank and doug do not feel complete they don't feel like real brawlers sometimes but yeah i'll see you later goodbye guys